today's video is all about the vibrant city of Columbia, South Carolina. Picture me right here in the heart of downtown, surrounded by the energy of the Vista. We're about to dive into what it's like to live here in Columbia, so prepare for a whirlwind of information as I share the inside scoop on this incredible city. I'm Jill Heydrich with Exit Real Estate Consultants, and I want to share with you what it's really like to live here. Well, the answer is it's very different depending on who you talk to, because in Columbia, we have Richland County, Lexington County, and then you have the city of Columbia. Right now, I'm in downtown Columbia, and the downtown area is what people usually talk about if you Google Columbia. If you ask anybody about Columbia, they'll tell you about the thriving downtown space, the famous Riverbank Zoo, and the beautiful Concrete Vista area. But here's the thing, few people live in downtown Columbia. Now there's a decent population here, especially students. And if you want to live in the downtown, let's talk because I have so many awesome places that you'll want to look at. However, most people live in the suburbs of Columbia. So you live in Irmo, Lexington, West Columbia, Forest Acres, or out in the northeast side of town. Many people who relocate here to the area tell me, oh, I want to be close to things. I want to be close to the lakes or at least have water views. And with that, I might have to say that you might have to go further out from downtown Columbia, like Chapin or Leesville. And you really want to know that those areas exist around here. Now, living here in the city day to day, Columbia is a little bit different type of city. You have a lot of things to do and a lot of fun things to do. That's why people are moving here because there are so many things to do. Now, when I say things to do, on a Saturday here in the Midlands, there's probably a half a dozen farmers market that you can go to. Lots of different artisans, farmers, people that want to sell their goods. So Saturday farmers markets are super fun. I love them. One of the, my clients just moved here and wanted something to do on a Saturday morning. So I told her to check out the Soda City Market and she and her husband loved it. It's right here downtown on Main Street. Then you also have the local businesses and you start your day super early, say like six or seven o'clock. You can swing by your favorite coffee spot and start your day with a great cup of coffee. It doesn't have to be a Starbucks. We have several really good independent coffee shops right here in the downtown area. So there are things to do around Columbia, especially if you have kids. You'll want to go to the Adventure Children's Museum or the State Museum or enjoy the beautiful parks with the playgrounds and the recreational facilities. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video on family things to do in Columbia. Another thing you'll want to know about in Columbia is that we are different regarding nightlife. If you like nightlife, you want to be in the actual downtown Columbia area. You want to be as close to the Vista Five Points area. A few spots like Social, the Senate, and the Tin Roof stay open late. If you like to hang out and be out super late, downtown's definitely your place. Or if you're looking for a quieter way to end your evening out, go to Kaminsky's Dessert Cafe. They have a fantastic coffee menu and equally impressive desserts. It doesn't open until 4 or 5 p.m., so don't try to get your morning coffee from there. So the other things you need to know about Columbia is the drivability and traffic around here. If you live here, you want to probably have maybe about a 30-minute commute. That's about the average time that people want to drive to work. So you want to be close to Interstate 26, I-20, or I-77. That drive may differ depending on where you live because there could be traffic congestion, especially during rush hour. So you'll want to pay attention to that. But there's also a few places in Columbia where we get a lot more traffic than other areas. That'll be Harbison Boulevard, where many of our shopping centers are located. And then there's the intersection of Two Notch Road and Interstate 20, Hard Scrabble Road, and Sunset Boulevard in Lexington. So there's just a lot of congestion there right now. Of course, we have our infamous malfunction junction where Interstate 20, 26, and 126 meet. Columbia is still working hard to improve our infrastructure as many people relocate here. We are expanding Interstate 20 and Interstate 26, so you must excuse our growing pains. Now another question I get asked about is our healthcare system. Prisma Health is one of the largest healthcare systems in the entire Southeast. So if you're looking for specific health programs or health research or a doctor and looking for a great hospital system to be involved in, you'll want to check out Prisma Health. That's something I get questions about a lot. The last thing I want to leave you with is that Columbia is a big college town. Maybe not many people know about that. So you have the University of South Carolina, Midlands Technical College, Allen University, Columbia College, and many more. There's also so many colleges and universities here in the Midlands that you want to know about, especially if you're a Gamecock fan or if you're a fan of one of the local college sports teams. 
If you didn't already know, I'm a local real estate agent here in Columbia area, South Carolina. And as much as I love doing these videos, I love even more helping you with your real estate needs. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating anywhere in the Columbia Midlands area where you can get boiled peanuts, a slower paced life at a very affordable cost, then give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. However you want, be assured that I will answer you personally. I'll see you next week.